So we have us a white oak. I guess about eight foot. I can't remember when I cut it. I took all the bark off the other day, so for the bottom, once I flip it, I'll get the rest of that off. I just cracked it open. I counted the rings. It looks like it's 68 rings, so I'm not sure if it's, you know, one year per ring. If that's the case, it's a 68-year-old white oak. If it's two years, you know, summer and winter rings, then it's, you know, 34-year-old tree. Either way, I got the cutting on it. Uh, my daytime job is kind of slow right now and I'm, I'm home fabricating metal. I got a truck full of uh, metal jacketing that I cut. <laughs> so tomorrow I get to actually go and do some other stuff with them. Turn it into corner beef, but that has nothing to do with this. But anyway, here's after the first cut. I don't have no water to throw on it, but maybe once I get to the quarter saw and grain, if I, if I try to quarter saw any of it. But the top cap, I, you know, I, I give to my neighbor again, or my sister-in-law, whoever, whichever one comes first. It's generally my neighbor, you know, and then he burns the top cap, and the rest I'll turn in the lumber, stick it over there. And I don't know if you can see, but inside there, I have the last bit of lumber I cut. So, as we get further in, I'll, I'll show you more. I, I'd like the video of the whole thing. Maybe one day I'll bring out that silly little GoPro thing. All right, see ya. So right now I'm just taking a little little break. This is a manual mill, which means I have to flip it, turn it, move it. Everything's done by my power, <laughs> which is a white oak log. It's pretty heavy. But as you can see it, I've already flipped it three times. I'm cutting the last part off now. Actually, I'll make two cuts. The log was uh, tapered from 20 to 18, so if you look on the ground, you see those two pieces of pine. I stuck them under to try to bring it level for the first cut, which would be where? On the back side over there, right? Yeah, something like that. And uh, so now I'll come across the top here and uh, take that down. I'm going to take a lighter cut. I'm not going to take all that at once. Like I say, I, I'm not a big fan of how they come out you know, thick and thin, but most of this I'm either going to try to turn into some stickers because I'm running out of, or I'm just going to chop it up and give it to the guy at the street. The two on the end, I'm going to try to keep. Sorry about the snorting, but you know, my sinuses are acting up, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. Uh, you can just mute anyway. <laughs> For the 12 people that watch this video. Once we put it together. So anyway, I mean, it's a pretty good looking white oak. I, I like white oak. I mean, I like red oak. I, I like all the woods, pine. They, they are, they're all the same. I'll work with any of them. It don't matter. But, um, so I don't know. I'm just going to cut this into probably one inch boards. You know, one by, what's that? Look like 12? Where's my tape measure? Let's find out. Sorry about all the moving around, but again, I do this by myself and I'm not, uh, I don't have one of those good cameras. Oh, excuse me. Good YouTube cameras that what the hell I'm doing so we're looking at 13 inches so get some one by 13s that'd be pretty cool stick, like I say stick them over there with the cherry and, uh, so I'll get cutting here in a minute maybe the next log if I think about it I'll go in and get that little uh, I have a GoPro Hero 5 and it has a little cool little uh small little tripod I guess I could stick it over on my truck and you know cut that one I'm going to take the bark off of that one also it's white oak about about five and a half feet maybe so I'm going to make some uh I think I'm going to make some four by fours or something I don't know I might get into it and it'd be beautiful and I make some just regular lumber who knows but I get these cut then I had the one last pine to do I cut some six by sixes back there I'll take you back and show you them I want to try to make a gantry crane. Not quite sure why. <laughs> I know to, it, somehow it's going to help me get these logs off the trailer because using the engine hoist. Uh, the other day I broke all the wheels off of it because the log fell off the trailer and smashed the engine hoist. The time before that, the whole engine hoist twisted over with a cherry log on it. And that took me and my wife a couple minutes to get it back up so it could get on the mill. But. 
that's the that's the six by sixes I cut and a piece of extra. On the bottom of there is some white oak. And you know it's somewhere in there. I have some uh two by twelves. Man, that's that sad that split that bad. Wow. Oh no, okay, let's say dang. That split like that, that was bad. But it wasn't. So somewhere there's some white oak it's got to dry some red oak on top some pine in the center this is walnut it's a crotch walnut it's drying terribly i mean look at all the stress cracks and all but let's say everybody keeps saying oh it'll be good for epoxy epoxy is expensive especially if you screw it up i already found that out i've wasted 189 dollars worth of epoxy don't mind me this is i'm talking about epoxy but this is a piece of oak there's another piece of it, the crotch. Uh, it's probably about 12% moisture. And uh, I think I am going to try to make an epoxy table with that. Though. So I have a welder coming tomorrow, welding machine, I should say. I, I ordered one, and I want to try to get into fabricating my own legs and stuff like that. And, but whatever. So this is my little shop. Most of you who follow me, the 12 people who watch my videos have seen it anyway. And this is something, one of those Drinko Plinko things, whatever the hell you call it. And I did some bent wood lamination on the sides. So here's the forms over here. And that's nine pieces of oak, sliced thin and, you know, bent the shape. So I had to put the bottle cap opener here, then the plexiglass, and then uh, hand this off to whomever. So... Anyway, it's enough rambling. Didn't really do too much. I just want to show you. This is a pile of oak. And it's been there two years now, maybe. Three? Two, yeah, at least two years. I think I've only had the mill going on three years. And I haven't made no real progress. It's not like I make a lot of money selling lumber to people. I, I guess I'm lazy. I just don't do that kind of stuff. I, I don't know how to, anyway. I just sell it for myself. And if somebody wants a piece of wood, I have it. <laughs> So, anyway, let's get back out of here. Enjoy my little coffee break. Coffee's about the only thing I really drink. I do drink one or two bottles of water a day, but mostly coffee. That's my boy Thunder sitting out here with me. I know, I could wipe the boogers out of his eyes, but, you know, he'll be all right. See ya. All right, so I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I know everybody always seems to like... When uh, the fellas throw water on it, uh, I like it too. I watch Matt Cremona, and you know, I watch all those guys on YouTube. Out of the Woods, Canadian Woodworks, Joe Sally Joe, even Outdoors with the Morgans. They don't do a ton of sawing, but they do a lot of cool stuff. But it's hard to see. But there are some medullary rays coming out, or ray fleck, however you want to call it. Yeah. So this is in the case of quarter saw. Up in here you can really see it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but it's real nice. That, that'll that make a nice piece of furniture or, or whatever somebody wants to do it. It did have a small piece of metal in it. That's the blue staining there. But it was small because I ran through it. It didn't affect anything. So, see ya. Alright, so this is everything I got out of it. I cut up some stickers. I was going to turn those into stickers, but I think I'll just leave them as one by threes or for whatever. You know, maybe use them later. Who knows? And then, uh, this is what I'll give to the guy up the street if he wants it. I don't, uh, cause I have no use for it. But, I think I'm going to go take these in the back and cut them down the size I need. And then start putting it in there and letting it dry for however long it takes to dry. <laughs> Around here, you can get it to 12% easily within six months, I guess. You know, and that, that, that's drying outside. And if you want it to six to eight, you're going to have to have a kiln. I'm trying to work on getting a kiln or building a kiln or whatever with a kiln. But, you know, I'm not the. Uh, not in no hurry. I mean, I don't plan on going anywhere yet. 
one day the Lord will take me, but I don't think it's today. It's probably not going to be tomorrow. So I have a little bit of time with this stuff. And I'm having fun, you know. It's, uh, it's fun. It's hard work, but it's fun. Don't, don't let anybody tell you it's not. You know, this tree, whether, whether it be 34 years old or 68 years old, nobody's seen the inside of it except for God. And now us. You know, that's amazing. I don't know what, uh, you know, the, the, the guy I get it from, he turns most of it into firewood. So if I can turn this into some kind of furniture, pff, amen. It's going to be beautiful. So, all right, I'll let you go. I'll, I'll show you once I get it all stacked under there, and then we'll, we'll go from there. <laughs> see you. Okay, so if you can see from this layer here, where my finger's at, up, this is the white oak I got out of there today. Uh, this has got some some nice boards. You know, I, I know that like on the end, the bottom one on the end, and this one here, looks like uh, the pith's still in there somehow. I'm sure it'll crack, but I, I, I'll be able to get something out of them. Yeah, I, I try not to waste it. Like the cherry down here that's cracked. I put a band on it to try to stop it, but, you know, it's something that can always, uh, you know, you can put a, what the hell they call them things? Shoot. <laughs> a bow tie inlay, you know, I forget what the hell they call them, but whatever. You would always put one of them in there and somehow. One of these days I'm going to make me some pinch dogs. And then you just spike them into the end, and it kind of keeps them closed. I'm sure, you know, with enough tension and stress, it'll pop them too. But it gives it a fighting chance at least. And uh, so this time I got lucky. The guy come down. <laughs> he come down and got all the stuff that uh, I usually have to carry to him. And he took all the shavings out of the back of the trailer. They were from, I cut this white oak to make some bowl blanks. And it produces nice shavings. And he took them too. I had some cardboard from my daytime job in there. He took that. I'm like, great. So now I just got to clean stuff up and put stuff away. And then uh, sometime this weekend I'll cut this one. And maybe that one. And then I got to go get some more. I know I'm running out of space to store wood. But you can never have enough logs. <laughs> See you later.